Oh, hi folks and welcome to my Manjaro KDE installation. I wanted to showcase the program to access OneDrive. Um, as background, I was heavy Windows 10 user. I have a one terabyte OneDrive. I stored all my documents, all my photos, more or less everything on Windows in my OneDrive. Quite convenient, let's say, to have access there to say I don't want to have these files uh, now offline here and to save this space. So how to do on Linux? So actually it was not that easy. Yeah, you log into your OneDrive, you show files up and down, you delete them, you download them. Very inconvenient for me. Let's say taking into account the amount of data actually I store there. So I was searching for a different way. Found Arclone, the R thing for cloud storage. Let's say it also does Google Drive, but let's say for me more important OneDrive. Plus what I was searching for, it also it has a fuse mount, so file system user space. Um, on this help page on the Arclone website, it's all explained how it works. Um, more important here, I explained this now already, let's say we will see later again. You will have here the so-called caging mode. So this is important, caging will mean how your files will be held. So when your virtual file system cage mode, when you call it off, means actually as mentioned you cannot do anything. So this is not important for us. Minimal means you can mostly read only. Um, every this is not so convenient for us. The standard mode which actually works the best is write. Write as stated here. All the reads will still be remote. Write and read write will be buffered to this first. So it means this is actually the way we want to go here. So let's start this. Um, first, make sure your OneDrive is locked in, in your standard browser especially. Yeah? Don't choose any browser, uh, fire up the standard browser first because the program will also fire up the standard browser. This works also with two-factor authentication, whatever you go for. So, fire up one R clone. I hope you have installed it before via your um, package manager, else get it, uh, let's say here on Manjaro it's in the standard packages also, so it's not so not so hard to get. It says a help page on the website how to get the R clone itself. So when you fire it up first, you see all the commands. Here we want to go for the R clone config. It shows we have no remotes yet, so we want to create a new remote. I will call it the one, my OneDrive. So and then you see all the you have then to choose which service you want to actually attach to. So OneDrive is 22. We don't need a client ID. We don't need a client secret. This is also explained on the help page. We don't need the advanced configuration, but we want to use the auto configuration. So everything is done for us. We'll now fire the local page here, 127, so local backup. Here in my case, it directly accepted. See here also there is now the success page. Normally, you will see first Microsoft website popping up asking you for permission if you will allow this app to access. So I granted this access before, so I am not asked again. But don't bother on this now. So we go for the OneDrive personal. There's only one we want to attach to. So looks okay. And then yeah, we see all the access tokens. We say, okay, this we can accept. So, and then we are done already. So we see we have a OneDrive, we have a type. So, all good. Compared to Windows, I mentioned I want to have it, let's say, also convenient here on Linux. So what I did actually, uh, I created a new folder first, called the folder also OneDrive. Um, and now I want to connect the Arclone to the, uh, the OneDrive via Arclone to this folder. So I created a small script from here. I will also um, be happy to post in the script later in the comments so you can actually access the script from there and create from your own. Um, important is here the script takes the home because I use different users on this computer so everyone can log into their own OneDrive in parallel. Only mandatory is here the name is given, it's OneDrive, therefore this big D in the middle and the share name is also OneDrive. So and it checks first, is it already mounted? If yes, then it does nothing. Not else if it's not mounted yet, 
then it will connect. And here comes again this virtual file system cage mode write. So this is important actually that goes in here. When you name your share differently, then yeah, you name here this OneDrive, you write it differently, but it has to match here this name. Put double points behind and then you post the folder where you actually want to have it mounted. So let's find out this mount script. So and when we now run into this OneDrive folder, we see, oh, there are no files already. And actually, we compare it here with the OneDrive, it's actually the same files we see. So, seems like it works. Okay, make it a little bit more complicated. Create a new file. Oh, let's say it's a standard text file, call it test only. We create it here. And now you see there was already a transfer. So Dolphin actually showed that something is happening. We have here the test file. We run here into documents. It's doing something and we have a test file here. So it actually shows it works quite well. Um, for me, I put this mount script in my auto start. So whenever I fire up KDE, it's auto, it's auto um, connected. So I don't have to worry anymore. And now I can use on my normal account all my files on my standard OneDrive like I did in Windows. So actually, problem solved. Thanks for watching, guys. Keep you updated.